Hello everyone, welcome to today's worship time. This week we'll be thinking about another one of our school values and the value we're thinking of this week is trust. So let's start our worship with these words. Peace be with you and also with you. We light this candle to remind us that God is with us and his light shines on us. So it's time to sing. We're going to sing Let My Little Light Shine, which is a song that we know well in school. The version today is a little bit different, but I'm sure you'll all cope. And it certainly made me smile, which is no bad thing at the start of the week. Enjoy singing. I'll see you at the end. Remember, if you're watching on YouTube, follow the YouTube link. So we are thinking about trust and who we trust. If you have a look there, there's some pictures of people we certainly trust and depend upon to do the right thing. The police, the fire brigade, certainly our doctors and nurses, we trust on them more than ever. But if you see in the top corner, who do you see? I see a group of children from Richard Taylor School. Why is that? It's because I trust you. So when you're thinking about who you would trust, this might help you. If I asked you to think of the person you would trust with something that was very special to you. Imagine it was inside that box. Who would you give it to to look after? Why would you choose them? What is it about them that makes them the person you trust most to look after something that is special to you? When you think about that, it's a story of trust that it's good to share with you. It's about a man called Blondin. He was a real man, as you can see from the photographs. And Blondin was someone who was a tightrope walker, one of those specially talented people who's able to walk and balance on a very thin piece of rope. Blondin was the best tightrope walker in the world. He even stretched a rope across an enormous river and a waterfall called Niagara Falls in America. The Bible says if you trust in God, you can achieve anything. But sometimes we don't always believe in ourselves. We don't trust ourselves to do the right thing. There's a story in a book in the Bible called the Book of Judges. In chapter six, it tells the story of a man called Gideon. Gideon was a man who didn't think he was anything special. He thought he was so ordinary that he didn't trust in himself. When God trusted in him, to do something very special. Here's another story if you've got. Jesus said, follow me. The people he chose to follow him were very ordinary people. If you remember, the Bible tells us that the first disciples of Jesus, those first special friends were ordinary fishermen and people who did ordinary jobs. But he trusted them to be incredible people and share his message, just like he trusts you to do the right thing.
Jesus trusts you to follow him. But what does he trust you to do? Here are some of the things that I think Jesus places his trust in us all to do. To be honest. To be kind to the people around us. To believe in yourself. And to go into the world and do well. Do good. Make the world a better place. That's what God trusts you to do. And if he trusts I trust you to be the best person that you can be every day. Not all of you are in school at the moment, but the people you're living with trust you to be the best person that you can be every day. And at the moment, that is good enough for all of us. Be the best person you can be every day. Look at those lovely words. The world is full of good people. But if you can't find a good person, then be one. It's time for us to share a prayer. Can you see the words in red? With a bit of help, you might be able to join in this prayer by saying those words with me. And I'll remember to say them nice and slowly. Dear God, help me to remember at the start of every day, I can trust in you. When things are going wrong and I need some help, I can trust in you. If the and here's our school prayer. Let's join in it together. It makes me feel that we're all together even when we are far apart. Dear God, thank you for the friendly people in our school and the wonderful environment where we learn and play. We're sorry if we have not shown each other respect or if we've not always been honest. Please help us to keep safe and to try our best in everything we do. We love our school. Amen. So let's end our worship with these words. May the light of God shine from us and the peace of God be with us always. Amen. We go into the world to walk in God's light, to rejoice in God's love and to reflect God's glory. Amen. It's time to be quiet for a minute. Think about who you trust and who trusts you. If you want some music to listen to while you're thinking, if you click on the link, there is a song by someone who sings about the way in which God trusts her. The words are really important. You can either sit quietly or listen to the music while you think. So go out there, everyone, and be the person that other people can trust. Goodbye, everyone.